Hi everyone, welcome back to Made Easy for Kids. In the previous video, we went through the practice problems for double digit addition. If you haven't seen that video yet, we'll link it down below in the description box so you can check that one out first and then come back to this one. Today we'll be learning how to add three digit addition with regrouping. Before we start, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We post a new one every Saturday. Let's get started! Let's quickly do a review. You'll see 10 cubes on the screen, and each cube is a representative of 1. So there are 10 ones, and 10 ones equals to 110. Each orange stack has 10 ones, so that means that it is equal to 110. And we have 10 of those, so now we can call it 10 tens. And 10 tens is the same as 1 100. So now let's learn how to do some three digit addition. Here we have 132 plus 245. Our first step is to break down what 132 consists of. So it consists of 1 100, 3 tens, and 2 ones. And now let's focus on 245. So 245 consists of 2 100, 4 tens, and 5 ones. Here we have the vertical form. So you can see that there's ones on the right column, tens in the middle, and the hundreds on the left. We always have to start from the right, so the ones place first. So in this case, it would be numbers 2 and 5. What is 2 plus 5? That's right, it's 7, so let's write that down. And now we can move on to the tens place. So we have 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, so we can write 7 down. And lastly, we have to add the hundreds place together, so the red numbers. 1 plus 2 is? That's right, it's 3. So our answer to this question, 132 plus 245 is equals to 377. Our next question is 356 plus 504. Let's see what 356 consists of. It consists of 3 one hundreds, 5 tens, and 6 ones. 504 consists of 5 one hundreds and 4 ones. Again, we have to start from the ones place when we add these. So 6 plus 4 is on the ones place, and 6 plus 4 equals to 10. This is a little bit different than the last question because 10 is now a two-digit number instead of single-digit number. In the beginning, we said that 10 ones equals to 110. That rule applies to this situation, which means that we have to add the 1 to the tens place. So when calculating the tens place, instead of adding just 5 plus 0, we would have to add the 1 at the end, so 5 plus 0 plus 1. 5 plus 0 plus 1 is 6, so our tens place would be 6. And now all we have to do is to add the hundreds place together. So what is 3 plus 5? That's right, it's 8. So our answer for 356 plus 504 equals to 860. Here we have another question. 457 plus 318. Let's write it in vertical form. Again, let's start by adding the ones place. So 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is, again, larger than 10, and it is a double-digit number, which means that we have to put the 1 from 15 to the tens place. So instead of just adding 5 plus 1, we would have to add another 1, so 5 plus 1 plus 1, to get the tens place answer, which is 7. Now all we have to do is to add the hundreds place together, which is 4 plus 3. 
Do you know what 4 plus 3 is? That's correct, it is 7. So let's write 7 in our hundredth place. And our final answer for 457 plus 318 is 775. For every topic we put out, we have many worksheets you can do. They all can be found on our website. This is worksheet number one, and let's complete one word problem question from the worksheet. Here's our question. Let's read it out together. 245 books were sold in bookstore A today. 232 books were sold in bookstore B today. How many books were sold in total today? First, we have to determine what the question is asking. So the question is asking how many books were sold in total today. And that means we have to add the number of books sold in bookstore A and the number of books sold in bookstore B. So that would be 245 plus 232. Again, let's write that in the vertical form and let's add the ones place first. Do you know what 5 plus 2 is? That's right, it's 7, so let's write 7 down. And we can now move on to adding the tens place together. So numbers 4 plus 3. That would also equal to 7, so let's write that down. We only have the hundreds place left. What is 2 plus 2? That's right, it's 4. So our final answer to this question, 245 plus 232 is 477. And to answer that in full sentence, we would write 477 books were sold in total today. You made it to the end of this video. Good job! Remember to complete this topic's worksheet. It is linked down below. We'll see you next Saturday and we'll go through the step by step answers to this worksheet. Thanks for watching! Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also check out our website, which is linked down below. Also, follow our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok where we share regular updates and tips on how you can improve your math skills. See you next week. Bye!